Hello and welcome to Don't Freak Out, quick videos on the kids health we don't talk about. I'm Dr. Courtney Rowe and today we're talking about labial adhesions. Let's start with an overview of some of the medical terms for girls' bodies. The vagina is the pathway between the uterus where babies grow and the outside world. The vulva is the word for everything outside the vagina. That includes the clitoris on the top, the urethra where the urine comes out, and the vaginal opening at the bottom. The labia are the outermost part, with the labia majora on the outside and the labia minora on the inside connected to the clitoral hood. Labial adhesions are when the labia minora stick together. We think that they're caused by a combination of low estrogen and a little irritation. Low estrogen is completely normal in young girls before puberty, so labial adhesions are really common, about one in 30 girls. More than half of them are asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms, no problems. Eight in 10 will go away on their own in about a year, but a lot come back, about four in 10. So don't be surprised if you see them coming and going. If girls are having problems like urinary tract infections, we can treat the adhesions by using an estrogen cream or a quick procedure. Do you know what a better source of estrogen is than cream? Puberty! That's why it's safe to leave the adhesions alone until puberty, because girls' bodies will make enough estrogen to release and then prevent the adhesions from ever coming back again. Hope this answered some of your questions about labial adhesions. Always talk to your doctor or your pediatric urologist with specific questions about your child. And remember, don't freak out. It's just labial adhesions. What's puberty? Puberty. <laughs> When you have puberty, you get like all grown up and you get like new, the new stuff in your body. Like you grow out of all your t-shirts and you get grease on your face. 